What's up guys, Jam here. Today we'll be covering chapter 33 of arc 5. Chapter 32 ended with Subaru, Garfield, and Ricardo heading out to raid the city hall. Chapter 33 takes place exactly from where we left off, but with Subaru dragging his feet. Garfield tells Subaru there's no use in doing so. Subaru sighs and agrees. He's just worried about how the danger is increasing with every second. So far, the trio had not encountered any witch cultist. They finally arrive at the meeting point, where Wilhelm and Krush were waiting for them. Next to them was Julius, who stroked his hair. I'm sure you're worried out of your mind for Amelia. Are you sure it's okay for you to be here instead? Subaru sighs and agrees that he is certainly worried for Amelia, but he can't just do nothing. Julius nods in agreement as if Anastasia was missing, he would probably feel the same. Wilhelm then hands Subaru a conversation mirror. The other two were held by Ferris and Anastasia. Krush asks Garfield about the two guards in front of the city hall. Garfield explains that they were like demons and that they could have killed him without even trying. Krush changes the topic and wonders if the Synarch Bishop of Lust was at the city hall. Subaru and Julius sigh as they do not know. Subaru recalls how strong Regulus is and how he seemed invincible. Speaking of invincible people, Reinhardt came to mind for Subaru. It was still odd that he had not shown up yet. What a great hero, am I right? Anyway, Subaru was still confused about the Synarch Bishop of Lust's name, Capella Emerda Lagunica. Ricardo thinks it's a tasteless prank, but Krush disagrees and doesn't rule out the possibility of it being true. Wilhelm then breaks the silence. Although I don't know of any Capella, I have heard a little of the reputation of Emerda Lagunica. There was indeed someone named Emerda in the history of the royal family of Lagunica. This took Subaru completely by surprise as his eyes widened. Her name traces back to before the Demi-Human War, before I joined the army. At the time, Emerda was known as someone very beautiful and very clever. And Lust called herself Emerda? For what reason? As for her intentions, I don't know either. Only I heard that Emerda passed away because of a disease at a young age, but a state funeral was never held in her honor. Wilhelm sighs before continuing. Times were hard was the reason they gave. However, the real reason was that because people didn't want one for her. Although Emerda was very beautiful and very intelligent, she was extremely cruel, with an immeasurable amount of darkness within her. The royal family kept this a secret from the public. Subaru was confused on why Lust would use Emerda's name. Wilhelm mentions that even if it was to slander the royal family, hardly anyone knows who Emerda is. In spite of that, Capella. Any thoughts on that name? Julius turned his attention sharply as he spoke, seeing Subaru, who showed a better expression. Nothing, it's just… After a brief pause, Subaru scratches his head as he continues. It's not just Capella, Regulus and Sirius too, and come to think of it, even Petalgeuse, but to say this is meaningful is impossible. Cut the crap, Captain, and tell us already, what's so special about their names? It's strange, you know. It's just, you could kinda say they have the same names of the stars of my hometown, or something like that. The names of the stars? Come to think of it, my name, Subaru, is as well. No, it doesn't matter, it's just a stupid thought. Everyone stared at Subaru in silence. Don't give me such strange looks, okay? My hometown named all the stars and the Synarch bishops just happened to share their names. I quite enjoy learning about the stars and their stories so I know some extra details. Sorry if it's boring. Please wait, Subaru. Are their names really the names of your stars? What do you mean? For example, could the names of the stars Subaru knows be the roots of their names? Could it be connected to their origin and motives? Since we know very little about the cult, we can't easily discard something that they may share a connection with. Subaru goes quiet and begins to think, the underarm of Orion, or the hand of Orion. Krush was utterly confused on what Subaru was talking about, but he didn't notice. That's right, it's called the hand of Orion. Subaru, what is this hand you're speaking of? Petalgeuse. The origin of his name is a star. His authority was the Unseen Hand, and that star's other name is the Hand of Orion. Sirius is shining, and she can use fire magic. At most, it's a literal. Regulus is a little king. Then, Capella is. Capella is. Little goat, a goat. Capella's a goat. Everyone once again was confused at Subaru's explanation. We cut to Subaru and the others in front of the city hall. The square was completely empty like Garfield had remembered, but it was way too quiet. The group continued to scout out the area until Garfield yelled out, They're here. The two guards fell upon Garfield. Krush and the others drew their weapons, rushing to Garfield's aid. Krush managed to blow the giant and the woman away from Garfield. However, it did not seem to harm them at all. Julius follows up on Krush's attack with his spirits. Backing him up, Garfield, Wilhelm, and Ricardo attack alongside Julius. The woman dodges their attack and grabs Garfield, using him as a shield against the spirits. She then knees Garfield in the face, breaking his nose. 
Wilhelm jumps at the woman, but she lets go of Garfield and kicks Wilhelm, which sends him flying. Meanwhile, Ricardo was busy exchanging blows with the giant, creating a stalemate. Subaru drew his whip and along with Krush attacked the giant, saving Ricardo from suffering a fatal blow. The woman was able to handle Wilhelm and Garfield with ease. The longer the battle went on, the more hopeless things looked. While the battle raged on, a sharp laugh rang throughout. Chaotically, grudgingly, this conspiracy has arrived. What kind of garbage pieces of meat like you can so foolishly dare to live? In the words of this elegant, patient lady, the Synarch Bishop of Lust made a sudden appearance on the battlefield. Then once more, this lovely lady is the Synarch Bishop of Lust. As the name of Lust was announced, a black dragon looked down upon them with a smile. I am Capella Emerda Lagunica. Die, you rotten slabs of meat. And that sums up chapter 33 of arc 5. Let me know what you thought of the chapter in the comment section down below. With that being said, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great day.